The K2PL Black Panther. This South Korean beast has been specifically tailored for Poland. The tank has a high survival rating as it was designed to counter modern threats, such as top-down anti-tank missiles and drones. Unlike other modern tanks that usually have one active protection system, the K2PL has three active protection systems to counter drones. This significantly increases the crew's survival on the battlefield and could even handle drone swarms as the system is automated. We will cover these systems, including its automated fire control system, the high caliber cannon and munitions, its armor protection, and finally, its mobility and range. Let's begin. Fire control and networked combat. The K2PL's fire control system is its digital heart, providing the crew with a decisive advantage known as first round hit probability that few tanks can match. This system is far more than a simple aiming device. It utilizes a millimeter band radar mounted on the turret, a traditional laser rangefinder, and crosswind sensors to create a true hunter-killer capability. Crucially, the system features a lock-on mode, allowing the tank to acquire and automatically track specific targets up to an astonishing range of 9.8 kilometers using thermal optics. The integration of a battlefield management system further allows the K2PL to share real-time tactical information, enemy locations, friendly positions and mission data with other friendly forces, solidifying its role as a truly smart networked fighting machine. Munitions and penetration. Armed with the formidable 120mm L55 smoothbore gun, the barrel length of 55 calibers ensures a higher muzzle velocity and kinetic energy than many older tank guns, translating directly to superior penetration capabilities. Unlike many Western contemporaries that rely on a fourth crew member to handle the massive shells, the K2 uses a bustle-mounted autoloader. This innovative system reduces the crew size to three, maintains a consistent and rapid rate of fire of about 10 rounds per minute, and keeps the crew fatigue-free in high-intensity combat. The tank carries 40 rounds in total, with 16 stored in this ready-to-fire autoloader. The primary munitions are indigenously developed armor-piercing, fin-stabilized discarding Sabot penetrators. The latest versions of these kinetic rounds are alleged to achieve penetration values of around 700 millimeters of rolled homogeneous armor, equivalent at a range of two kilometers enough to defeat the latest generation of opposing armor. The true technological crown jewel, however, is the Korean Smart Top Attack Munition. This is a fire and forget smart shell that is launched indirectly, similar to an artillery round. It acquires the target mid-flight, uses a parachute to descend over the area, and then detonates to form an explosive formed penetrator, which strikes the enemy vehicle's much thinner top armor bypassing frontal defences entirely. Effective at ranges between 2 and 8 kilometres, the Korean Smart Top Attack Munition adds an unparalleled dimension to the K2PL's firepower, allowing it to destroy hidden enemies with precision. Protection and survivability. The K2PL's survivability is built on a multi-layered integrated defensive stack. Its primary defense is its modular composite armor, designed to withstand hits from modern 120mm armor-piercing, fin-stabilized discarding Sabot rounds. While the exact composition is classified, it's complemented by explosive reactive armor blocks for enhanced protection against shape-charge warheads like those found on rocket-propelled grenades and anti-tank guided missiles. The K2PL variant, specifically built for Poland, is expected to incorporate even heavier armour than the base K2. Beyond the passive armour, the tank's active defences are focused heavily on the modern aerial threat. Its anti-drone suite is a triple-layered defence system, confirming the three active protection systems mentioned in our introduction. First, the soft kill jamming layer where the tank is being equipped with electronic warfare jammers strategically positioned to disrupt the command and control signals of hostile surveillance and suicide drones, neutralizing them 
before they can get close. Second, the Hard Kill Active Protection System, which is the Israeli Trophy Active Protection System, provides its primary defence against high-velocity missiles and rockets, intercepting them at close range with microsecond precision. This system is measured in microseconds, with competitors boasting reaction times as short as 560 microseconds from detection to engagement. Third, the remote-controlled weapon station kinetic engagement layer. For the drones that penetrate the electronic and active protection system screen, the roof-mounted remote-controlled weapon station, housing the 12.7mm K6 heavy machine gun, provides the final kinetic defence. This remote-controlled weapon station is integrated into the tank's fire control system, giving it automatic target detection and tracking capability. This means the crew can lock onto a small, fast-moving drone, and the system will automatically calculate the required lead and elevation to engage it, all while the crew remains safely protected inside the hull. The tank also incorporates a missile approach warning system, which uses the same millimeter band radar to detect incoming threats and automatically deploy visual and infrared screening smoke grenades. This soft kill measure cloaks the tank from thermal and radar signatures, preventing an enemy weapon from achieving its final lock. The entire defensive philosophy centers not only on absorbing the hit, but also on denying the enemy a clean shot in the first place. Mobility and special features. The K2PL's mobility is arguably its most revolutionary tactical feature. Despite its extensive armor package, the tank maintains a combat weight of around 55 tons, making it significantly lighter and more agile than some of its Western counterparts. It's powered by a 1,500 horsepower engine, providing an excellent power to weight ratio of approximately 27 horsepower per tonne. This allows for a top road speed of 70 kilometers per hour and swift acceleration from zero to 32 kilometers per hour in a matter of seven seconds. The true differentiator is its in-arm suspension unit a semi-active hydropneumatic suspension system that allows for the individual control of every road wheel. This gives the K2 unique special features that turn the terrain into a defensive ally. The tank can literally kneel, sit or lean dynamically. By kneeling, the tank dramatically reduces its frontal silhouette, making it a much harder target in a hold down position or it can increase its main gun's depression to negative 16 degrees for better use in hilly terrain. This posture control system is invaluable in the rolling hills and urban environments of Eastern Europe. Furthermore, the K2 is one of the few main battle tanks equipped with a full snorkel system, allowing it to deep ford rivers up to 4.1 metres in depth. This amphibious capability is a critical tactical advantage enabling the K2PL to bypass prepared enemy defences and deploy where heavier, less adaptable armour cannot follow. The K2PL is not just powerful, it is fluid, adaptable and perfectly engineered for the complex demands of 21st century manoeuvre warfare. 